What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So the runoff happened last time, um, we captured Ceylon and then traded away to Austria for peace with a load of cash. Um, we gave Prussia a load of cash to leave us alone and the Austrians took Paris which I thought the, the French would still have course because they'd still be in the game but they do not, so the French have been eliminated leaving open their colonial possessions to be swept up um, by ourselves and also their holdings in the continent. So we're kind of getting to the point where I'm shaping up to be at war with the United States because I'm going to be sharing a lot of land borders with them and if the, if the, uh, if the AI for the USA is coded to anything like how the AI, how the, um, the USA historically reacted then they would be pushing, they want to push westwards, which obviously I'm not going to let them. But yes, the plan is still pretty much the same to expand, um, uh, span, expand our navies to gain more control of trade zones in our local theatres, um, push this army up to attack up Louisiana, build another little mini garrison here, ship one of my armies over from Europe to land in Florida via a circuit, circuitous route of uh, rebel forces on rebel regions on the way and land off the coast of florida that is the plan i believe um this uh, you might be able to you, eventually you might be able to become a real army once they calm down same with spain spain's still really not happy with me 21 so 21 turns it'll take for that to go away and i've got lots of happiness buildings which will end up being destroyed um once I can. How oh, good. So my navy's on... Ooh, damn. Ooh, so I probably want you... So you, okay, so you go up there and head up this trade fleet then. And this guy... Yeah, navy's still on the go. Well, I'm, to be honest, because I've got all this money, I may as well just keep stacking up ships. Build thirds, because thirds were historically more common. And then... Yes! Oh, no, you go down to do... Oh, so I totally sent, picked the wrong university. I don't want them to research build, uh, rights of mining, because that'll make them horrendously upset. Um, national debt might be handy. But I think going down the military route to get some more um, units... Unit varieties for me would be quite good. Light cavalry sharpshooters. Machine rifle from get Mexican sharpshooting and cazadores. They're pretty good. Right. Just make sure I did pick. Yep. New model bayonet drill. Excellent. Oh no, I'm not oh no, I don't have anyone. Yeah, I was about to say I don't have anyone actually going down the naval tech route, which I'm gonna to need to go down hard if I want to maintain an alliance with Quebec. No, because if I ally with Quebec and declare war on the US, then this could all unravel quite quickly, so not yet. That, and they're only offering... Holy moly, they are on a tear. Quebec are determined to oust the British from the uh, the region. Well, there we go, guys. It's kicked off. Let's see who sides with who. The Marathas have joined me in their war against the United States. Well, that's it now. I've got to focus on the US. I cannot let them... Um, I cannot let them take root. Oh they're, oh, they're already turning their attentions of their navies against me. But still, this is why I have my fleets of fourth rates and things like that. Um, which, it makes it kind of more an economic way to keep my ports open. All the while, I'm not going to send my navy that's being built in Spain to the Americas. They're going to go to the trade theatres instead. And the navy that's being built in the Caribbean is going to be what's going to fight my battles in this region. Well, the French have rebelled. The Royalists have rebelled against the Austrians, but they're hopelessly outnumbered. I would be fascinated to see... So the AI has done lots of naval invasions. And if I'd be fascinated to see if Austria attacked Great Britain. That would be so cool. Because no one ever attacks Great Britain. And um, really, not, not that I've seen in my 700-ish hours. Probably close to 800 actually nowadays. Oh god, here, oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, you guys will probably think I've, like, pre-recorded that or I've, like, set it up somehow that I knew that was going to happen. I really didn't. That's so cool. But let's see if they actually win. If they take London, that is huge. A trade port in your home region has been blockaded by an enemy fleet. Absolutely. What ship is it? It's a fourth rate. So if I recruit... San Francisco is going to be the Admiral's flagship. And he is going to send his ships along to destroy it. Collect some prizes. Okay, let's get you back to the dry dock. Well, I say back to dry dock. Well, they need to go back to dry dock, but I need to clear out this guy because he is sucking up all of my trade. Could have turfed him out. Well, he's a fourth rate ship of the line. Yeah, I could really do with recruiting some more ships from down here. Only fifths. One turn so I can recruit more. But yes, I think what's going to have to happen is... Oh, oh the case okay, the US. Okay, I need to support the heck out of this region. This army? I thought I was going to do the sneaky sneaks and they were going to... They were going to land and capture the rebel settlements. No, that's abandoned. You get to the Americas right now. You are needed, sir. As probably will you. Hmm. Okay, so how's my income now? Oh, there's 2,700. If I pick this fleet, these guys, just had them trade, had them pirate, it goes up by 750, no, it goes up by about 700-ish. Not worth the risk. Uh, where should I send you? Get them in here, I guess. Well, let's get them in here. In See, I've lots of scattered navies, which is not ideal. Okay, because you're already Catholic, and that's fine. So let's get a craft workshop. You've you've already got a military governor's barracks, so I'd like to almost bring the fight to the enemy. Send this guy out to. Well, no, they need to defend. Until I got a fort, they need to defend. Boarding house in Spain, ports blockaded and freed up. Yes, yeah, that navy in the Caribbean Sea. Fortunately, a lost ship. No, no, keep fixing, sorry. It's in two turns, they'll have more seconds. Trade raided. Successful mission. Trade agreement cancelled with the US. 27,000 a turn. Still a lot. Come on, Ottomans, let's trade. Request peace, request trade. I'm not going to give you Panama. Nope. Good. Sp P I do not want war with Spain. I want to focus on the US. So this army can now march up and take up Louisiana. And then this other army will land and take Savannah. Right now, Spain is crippled. Spain, like, yeah, they've got like a unit of colonial line which looks all cool, and they've got some elite units. But Spain's a crippled tiger. I don't have to worry about Spain. Sure, this guy might be a bit concerning, but look, that's just a load of junk. If they capture anywhere, then I can just recapture it in one turn. It's not a risk. Okay, so then let's hit end turn. So go back is attacking the British. Personally, I'd like it if the British held them off. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the dismantling of my wider economic effort. I'm going to want to resolve that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're done. Because there's a reinforcement navy down to the south. So this is where I talk about how um, having a redundancy in trade is a good thing 
or having redundancy in your economics is a good thing. So, because right now I've lost a lot of trade, so that's impacting my income a lot. But what it hasn't done, or what what can't usually happen is if oh no, they might get it. But yeah, so I've lost a lot of trade, and so my income's down. But this is why I really really like having a strong tax base because it means that blockades don't really matter so much. Also, the Prussians are not going to attack. They're going to raid. And that's fine. That's cool. It's a bit different. But I need to move on the US. Do I even make a grand statement and just, and just land in Philadelphia? Spain out of the game? Unused land suitable for I think Spain are out of the game. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Okay, I've got to think very carefully here. Nation destroyed, Hanover. So, yep, yeah, that's the Marathas have taken them out. Nation destroyed, Spain. Spain is out of the game. Which means their territory is now open, open field. So the Americans are going to stamp down on that rapidly. Fleet destroyed, fine. Heroic death of that admiral. Crack in. You. Oh no, you are in the... Oh, you're not in a too terrible of a position. Land off of Florida. You can just about make it. Oh no. They can still make it. It's a long way. If they can't make it, they will head to shore immediately. But yeah, this fleet is probably going to be destroyed, but it's a brig, so that's why we have them. New nation arises, Savoy. So they had a revolution. They had a revolution. <laughs> so Sp the Spanish Empire was knocked out from revolution. The Cherokee are back. Yeah, fair enough. Good tax revenue. 43,000. Oh, so I do earn, I'm still earning good money from taxes. Okay, so they are going to threaten Florida, so this army threaten Upper Louisiana all while recruit more troops. Can't expand you anymore. But yes, if I can take uh, Florida, then take Savannah and Charleston quickly, I'll be on to a winner. It's the Eastern Atlantic. Oh, that's over in Cadiz. Oh, yes. So I am going to build a naval hospital. Just to get first rates out the door quickly. Spain. Have your happiness building. You're still just about... Just about keeping it... Keeping it sane. Until I get a university. Okay, cool. So next turn I'll be, so I'll be, I'll be right down the throat of trying to just trying to get um, uh, research quicklime shells. You are still doing chain shot, which you should not do. And let's get copper bottoms. Well, oh, longitudinal watch actually. I still don't have you. Don't know how I've got that. Probably some some switcheroo to do with how I've. Um, Captured buildings or captured, uh, yeah, captured buildings didn't normally have access to the tech. So I can't upgrade any of my military buildings. You, garrison the port. You, my ports are garrisoned. You run up here, get ready to garrison this port. You're recruiting lines, so the best thing I can do down here is recruit artillery send up, attach some cuirassiers and a general and then this force will probably declare on the Cherokee territory and push up in the heartland of America okay we're doing this, we're doing this, we're getting this no, yeah, yeah let's keep keep researching that and the, what I'm probably going to do here is let's build let's build an army over here 
get some grenadiers, get two units of grenadiers, a handful of fusiliers, and this force will then also sail over to the Americas. It's tempting to grab these regions, but I've got bigger priorities. If I can knock out mainland America, I will be rolling in cash. Oh, so the Quebec, yeah, the Quebec's Qu Quebecois lost against Britain. Yep, that brig is not that. Uh, the sixth rate is not. Well, it's a knackered second rate, so maybe no. Perdida. At least they didn't capture it though. That'd be quite a nice ship to cap. Just so I think they're in the. Ooh. Ah, oh, the Prussians got hammered. And then that that stacks finished them off. Fair enough. But I think yeah, they're all they're all still stacking up against the coast. So maybe they might ship them over again. Give it another go. Oh, look at that! Yep. So they got another ship. Oh no, they're blockading. At least if they're focused on Britain, they're not sending fleets to attack small islands. They're not attacking my Caribbean holdings. And that's good for me. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Even if it ends up creating a juggernaut later on. Um, when a they... trade port in your home region has been blockaded by an enemy fleet. Whilst this is in place... Okay, I'll deal with you later. It's a case. It's a successful mission... Okay, so let's get uh, my Grand Granada, Grand Granada, get them doing not cadence marching, maybe, might be handy. Not as handy as new model bayonet drill though. Fire in advance, nope, new model bayonet drill. And you pick up, I can't really pick anything up because I've not got the. They've not really got many gentlemen. Like that's literally probably the lowest. Rights of man's the lowest, but I don't want them to get it. Well, you may as well get in diamond formation. All the while. Oh, wait. I saw that. Upgrade you to a dried arc and start churning out second rates. That's for, Those are fourths. Yeah, those are all fourths. <laughs> Don't start churning out. Well, a handful of fourths might be okay. Fleet destroyed, yep. Yeah, you know what? Naval hospital. Ah. Yes, I need to get first rates so I can try and get, a, get ahead of the naval arms race. Construction report. Keep pushing up. Oh, either you are going to get... I'm going to annihilate you first. I don't want you running around on my flank. In one turn you're going to be... You're going to have an upgrade, Bill. You... That's not worth fighting. So you're repaired. You're replenished. Well, you go straight on to Savannah, actually. Because you're happy enough. Because at least I'm Catholic. You know what? Straight on to... Okay, you want to do... Oh, you can't reach. Okay, so what if I select you all except for the artillery? No, you're just out of reach. But yes, they may as well push on to the uh, to Charleston. Savannah's unhappy, but not when I press this magic button. There we go. Fix them up. I'm probably going to fortify them as well. Oh, yeah. Agents. In just case, shoot this guy up to Williamsburg. Excellent. Florida's captured. Georgia's captured. It makes sense to sprint up the coast if they're going to leave it. If they can leave it open like that, I may as well take it. Because within a turn, I can already consolidate my 
uh, that you know public order and things like that and do repairs yep these guys might need an actual okay yep the American radio first proper fight against US forces let's do it you guys are going down So, let's get going. Scatter their forces. Let's just to sweep up any survivors. Let's stay out of the woods, because they're Native American units. Good, good, good. Group. So that my artillery battle line. Let's keep my frontiersmen on the right near the woods. Let's put a unit of militia behind there with fire rank turned off. Let's put my grenadiers on the left because they've not they won't be fully deployed yet. You're deployed. Cavalry on the right. Cavalry on the left. General taking a position in the centre. Good. And then let's deploy my grenadiers in good order. And everyone, just open fire! So all the reinforcements are coming from the far end of the field. We've got some light cavalry, regiment of horse, regiment of horse, provincial cavalry. Are they okay? U.S. Grenadier Guards. But yeah, these guys have been annihilated by the opening barrage. Speed of time a bit, because right now they are not um, ready to engage just yet. Okay, let's change targets. Need to hit these units, regiment of horse, because they're coming right at them. Ooh. And here comes the columns of advancing infantry. U.S. line infantry, the fourth regiment of foot, the fourth guard regiment, fifteenth regiment of foot, Continental Marines, very elite troops. Horse artillery, some ragged units of line infantry, another unit of grenadiers, another unit of artillery. Taking up positions in the woods. I'm going to move my frontiersmen back, keeping them hidden. Oh no, they're not hidden. <laughs> not anymore. But yep, right now it's just opening fire. Keep chipping away their artillery. Get ready just to jog my colonial light cavalry out. My grenadiers look like they'll be the first units in position. So you.
canister shots. Then my infantry will open fire. And there is this infantry unit going to blast some canister shot. I'm not bothered about this line, this, um, this uh, cavalry unit. There we go, they've already been shattered. So let's go back to round shot and hit their unit of artillery that's forming up in the distance. Everyone open fire. The militia open fire. Nope. So my militia are unhappy because they walked in front of the guns when they fired. But I think it was a worthwhile bet to keep them away from my cavalry. From the, from my artillery, sorry. Good, so my howitzers cannot open fire onto their artillery, but they can hit their advancing troops. So let's get these guys, yep, these guys are already working on this far artillery battery on the left. On the right, the target distribution is a lot different. So let's get my artillery working on this guy. Nope, they can't. Let's get them to keep bombarding the Continental Marines. Trail team. Let's speed up time a little bit. See so the US forces can form up. Um, these two units focus fire that unit of provincial cavalry that's coming right for you. Run my militia up. Militia get, an open, get a fire at rank 2. Yeah, they've done some damage. Let's fall them back. Turn fire will off. Let's get the artillery to focus on some nearer units. Oh, this cavalry came back. Oh, native warrior auxiliary was, had snuck up and tried to charge me. Get my general, get my cavalry to hit them, turn fire at will off. Okay, let's deploy the cavalry because I've got the cavalry advantage. Don't worry about chasing them down. Run in this direction, flank their artillery, and get ready to hit them. You hit the units they're nearby. There we go, and the first opening salvos have caused the Grenadiers to rout. Get, my, get a unit of artillery to hit this unit of Grenadiers. Oh, there you go, front ranks taking a blast of canister shot. Set that cavalry to go chase down that unit of horse artillery. But here we go. American line infantry. Oh, they go. here's the Continental Marines. So they are quality infantry they are, we are up against. So let's get my howitzers to hit the line. Keep that line where it is because they're going to be hit by grenadiers. 
moving up to close range for an, for a bayonet assault by the looks of it. But the 30th Regiment of Foot will not be so easily cowed. And they're shooting the American, the 2nd Regiment of Foot at point blank range. Turn fireball on for them. Oh, okay, let's keep track of my cavalry. Good, they are hitting them. You hit that unit of horse artillery. But to be honest, you start chasing down their routing troops. Form square, being engaged at point blank range, getting slaughtered the mighty second. So you chase down that unit of guns. Completely ignore the general back here. Just keep relying on superior firepower. Good, come on, finish that, hit that last gunner. He's right there. Good, get these guys in. To be honest, a fully formed colonial light cavalry can probably smash into this cavalry and deal with it. Yep, they've got a ragged volley off, but they've only downed one cavalryman. my general. Get my howitzers to engage this unit of grenadiers. Let's hit the Continental Marines. Get my, get my general out of there. Get them to chase down the routing infantry. They, they haven't routed instantly. And the danger is if I get involved in a proper slog fest with them, eventually they will chase me down. So let's keep going. Chasing down the grenadiers. No, the um, colonial marines, sorry. Let's run my troops out of the way. Let's get them to both chase hit this unit of line infantry. Get my howitzers to focus fire them. Four. Okay, run. Hit that native warrior. Native warrior unit. Although, to be honest, let's get my general to chase them down. And get these guys to hit the native warrior unit. 72 cavalry, they are tired, but the shock value might be enough. Chase down the Union of Grenadiers. Okay, let's run away from them for now, actually. They're melee only troops. Get this, you know how it says to aim at them. Let's get this battery to fire one volley of round shot against that unit. Ninety-eight men, six artillery pieces. Oh, a direct hit. Yes, they are wavering. Get 
Let's get him, get him to the native warrior auxiliary. May as well. The gunners decided not to route. Are they bugged in position? They are. Okay, let's leave them. Let them route because they're too far away. They fled. Okay, let's get them onto that Grenadier Regiment, actually. These guys, you leave them alone. You chase down this Regiment of Foot. And let's speed up. Because this General Unit is the only thing they've got. And it's a not particularly sterling unit of um, native infantry. Enemy General's been killed by artillery fire. Let's quickly continue. Shouldn't take long. They're going to flee. Sad, but sad, unfortunate. Let's get all of my artillery to aim at this unit, because that could probably be what actually screws me over the most. Native War Auxiliary is done for. So it is this unit. There you go. It's bugged out and it wasn't moving. So let's get maybe my coverage chase after it. But it is horse artillery, so it will probably escape the field. <laughs> you tell him what we did to you, the Royal Mexican Empire. Excellent. The first battle again. First land battle. Obviously, we don't include the naval ones. I mean, who talks about the, uh, the history they lost? Sweet. Absolutely smashed them. 385 lost. 1,853 killed. Who got the most amount of kills? Cavalry, probably. Yep, my Colonial Whites got a, got a lot of experience. To my howitzers, yep, my howitzers have gone up in experience. Good. They are going to get rounded out. They are going to get um, finished off next, uh, next turn. Which is rather lovely. Oh, the British are coming. Not towards me, hopefully. Hopefully they're going to attack the uh, the Prussians. <coughs> Pardon me. That would be fascinating. If they sailed and landed in Germany. So the Austrians are on the move. Genoans are on the move. So, I think on the map, did they take... Did the Prussians retake Hanover? Yes, it looks like they did. Oh, and they've moved on to try to take Copenhagen. And it's not worked. Their first attack of Copenhagen has been repelled. God, this campaign's turned out fascinating because everyone's actually being aggressive and playing, you know, how they should be doing rather than being docile and sitting where they should be. Good, good, good. Punjab is on the go, the French. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Swainsboro plantations. plantations. Oh yes, this is my KCU. Plenish. Plenish. This is where it could be in a... No, no, it's all volunteer infantry. I'll be fine. Build walls. Build a Governor's Mansion, because I can recruit, can spam infantry out of here to garrison Savannah. Okay, so, got, so I do have troops coming to receive response from the northern states. Good. Let's bring you along, just to auto-resolve this fight, because it's killed them, it's killed them. Oh, that's super frustrating. You replenish, go up there. And this is where the garrison forces are going to briefly sally out to destroy Thomas Brown and his cavalry. They took a lot of casualties. Let's get them in place, get them... Well, they don't have to get back in. Okay, let's do some trading. Jesuit College, don't need... Well, not trading, investment. Um, roads, you have poor roads. 
low yield farms. I think it's tempting to do. I oh, know these are all my Indian men. These are when I go go to reconquer the trade fleets. That's where they're going. Like this guy. You put to sea. Oh no! Wait. Firstly, I want to take spices. That's where I want to go. So you go to the East Indies Trade Theater. Good, they still have navy navies being recruited. Excellent, but yes, Geraldo Franco, the first the confident general, steady under fire. He's a drunk, he's a soldier from birth, but he's got a surgeon. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But yes, the campaigns against the Americans has gone well so far. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. A bit more action this time. And I will see you next time.